Hello, Aquarius. Thank you for tuning into your love read. For the mer um, for the main part, I'm using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the support of Oracle cards, I'm going to use the Angel Answers Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue and Randy Valentine. I already shuffled relationship first, single second, and Oracle cards come up as needed. Last one's face down. Don't know if that's good or not, but we'll find out. Alright, there we go with the face down cards. Every now and then that happens, just, I don't know. I'm usually reluctant to put them face down, but when it feels like it's right, usually the reason they come face down is because it's not going to make sense till it happens, or it's a secret thing. So let's see how it goes. Um, There's like a transition here. I feel like it's going like this. You're starting at a spot where you're feeling like you can't really move. That's a bare bone to this one, of course. But the Hank man here is telling me you're seeing something better come forward. Something seems good here, but you can't move towards it yet. I feel like you can't even really start talking about it yet. And I feel like that's why you're feeling really kind of restricted, because you can't even start talking about it yet. <coughs> Excuse me. But they're also telling me that things aren't what they seem. With the moon card here, like things are seeming a little... I feel like something's not quite there yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Something's distorted. The question is, which way is this distorted? Should you be talking? Can you talk? Or is it not as good as it seems? Something is distorted here. We're going to keep going to find out what, of course, but... Where am I? Up here, did I show you the cards? I don't know what I'm showing to over here. Like, hey. Okay, uh, there we go. Good, good. Your partner has the Fool card. They're making moves. Are they making moves? They're making moves. Re optimistic moves. Yeah. They're making moves. They're just, they're going forward and they're just, I don't think they're thinking things through. This time when the fool comes through, I'm not getting like the optimism so much. I'm getting more like making quick moves without thinking them through. That's what I'm getting. Just kind of going through and doing things and not really thinking through what you're doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm getting from this. And I feel like as they make, I feel like they make the moves or move, whatever they're doing, this, whatever they're doing, they make that decision and they're trying to, are they trying to defend it? No. There's a misstep here. It's almost like it's half not good, half good. Like part of it worked out, but part of it didn't. So it's kind of like a misstep in a sense, but they're trying to like recover from it. This recovery thing, that seems to be a problem. That seems to be where this is going a little. Like it, it, it was because of the fool. Like this didn't make enough, didn't research or whatever, didn't think this through enough before they moved forward. Just kind of jumped into it, but. The recovery, that seems to be where this is really starting to become an issue. Now, this is the next card they're pulling me to. And let's see how this is going to... Because I, I know sometimes when I pick them up, it makes more sense. The recovery is causing problems. Um, there might be some damage here to something. Something got damaged. And I feel like this is causing a change, an uncomfortable change. Not a shock because of what happened here, but it's causing a change, but it's also bringing forth its own opportunity. I just don't feel like they're aware of it yet. The opportunity is there. 
but I feel like maybe they're giving up on this too soon. They're feeling a little... The challenge is a bit much for them, so they're trying to walk away, but I feel like they're giving up on this too soon. Now, I'm starting to get the idea. Like, I have two cards here, and I'm wondering where you're going with this, because they're face down, which is telling me it's not going to make sense till it happens. You're seeing that they're giving up too soon. You're stepping in at this point. You don't realize that they're giving up too soon. You don't have all the information yet. When they start walking away and giving up, you know what I mean? They're just, when they're walking away from it because they're not thinking it's working out the way they want it to, at some point after that, you're realizing, like, because this is telling me, this is how this is matching up. The moon is matching up on your side with the seven of swords on their side. They're walking away. They're just trying to give up on it because they're not thinking it's working out. And you're not seeing that at first. Or are you? I don't know. This the moon is telling me something isn't the something isn't right here. Something is definitely not right because it seems like you're stepping in. You got the chariot and the ace of swords. You're like no 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 no. You stepped in this. You you wanted to do this. Let's let's get back into it because you got the they got the the page of pentacles here. You're like no we're gonna see this through and they're you're kind of making them get back in line with it making them see it through or go a little farther with it at the very least now i'm seeing this happen and you're standing strong you're like no we're no you made this move you we have to finish it off now you're the sword and the chariot like you're getting involved and you're like no this is not ending you chose you took you made a step too quickly but we're gonna see it through now i feel like you're pushing that way now, the emperor is also on your partner's side. Like the page of pentacles, they're they're continuing on because you're. I feel like they're following your lead. Like they're. I don't feel like they're pushing back. Like you're like saying, "Hey, no, you made that quick move. You didn't do enough research, but that's too bad. We're in it now. Keep going." The page is saying they're following what you're saying. The emperor here is saying that like they're agreeing like all right yeah I made this mistake and I have to like live with it made my bed get a lay gonna lie in it now like I feel like the emperor is saying like yeah you, you got a point like I feel like they're kind of going along with it because of that this is why this is face down this makes perfect sense to me they were gonna walk away they literally were until you pushed them to stick with it and now they're gonna they're, they're gonna go they're sticking with it they are sticking with it but don't stop right next to it. it's like you make your point. You make your point. You're like, you made your bed. Now you got to lie in it. And they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're making sense to them. They're like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Now, what's going on next over here? These are the face down cards for you. Face down, what makes this better is you have the magician with the, uh, what is that, within the next few months? Over the next few months, I feel like you're taking more control of this. This situation that your partner jumped into without thinking and was going to abandon, just take what they could and kind of move on, that you wouldn't let them, but they were going to. You're starting to take over, I feel. The magician, you're changing this, but you're changing this to make it work out better. Things have to be edited. Things have to change. I feel like you're taking more control here because things need to be reevaluated so they work out. It's not a malicious thing. It's just this needs to work out. Yes, it was your ball of wax, but you were going to walk away from this ball of wax. Now I'm going to get involved to make sure this works out. It's going to go on for a few months. Like you're, I feel like over the next few months, you're going to move into this position where you're more in control. This is going to put your partner on the defensive. Five of swords. Like, they realize they're losing control, but I, I just feel like you have the major arcana, they have the minor arcana. You're going to win out. But you might notice a little bit of resentment or resistance going forward, but you're still going to win out. Because I feel like the way you're looking at it is like, no, this has to work out. And you were going to walk away, and I, I, I'm, look, I'm seeing things you're not seeing. We need to do this. I just feel like 
you're getting into that power position, but it's to make it work out. It's going to go over the next few months. Um, I guess just the fact that you know this is happening. And I, I have to say, when I'm seeing the Chariot and the Ace of Swords, especially the Chariot, the Ace of Swords is very powerful in my opinion too. Like, you're going to, it's just the way it has to happen. For this to work out, I feel like that's what has to happen. Um, your partner was going to walk away from it, though. I just feel like you, you it's going to work out. It is going to work out. Um, I feel like your partner is le learning a very harsh lesson here about, you know, be careful before you look, just, you might look a little better before you leap because I feel like not only did he, he or she, don't get caught up in the gender. He or she, just there's a man on this card. That's why I'm saying that. Um, at least looks like a man to me. Um, they're learning a harsh lesson, like more research before you get involved in certain things. And then I feel like this person's going along because they're real, they're not feeling it. They don't want to be involved with it. And you're kind of making them... You're, you're, it, they need this. They need this at this point. I think that's good, though. That's good. I think it's just about letting you know what's going on here. I feel like that's the whole point. Because it is seeming to work out. Opportunity is still there. They were going to walk away from it. But it's funny. The death card is saying instead of you ending, instead of the situation ending, it's actually, you know, ushering in the beginning here that almost became an ending. <laughs> good? Good. All right. Let's do Aquarius single. Aquarius single. There's a bug. In there. There's a screen on. There's a screen here, and there's a bug on the screen, and I'm just like, I keep seeing a bounce over there. I'm just like, you know what? Keep bouncing over that way. <laughs> Apparently a grasshopper, which, is that a grass? I think that is a grasshopper in late October in New York. That's great. Your time is over. Go sleep or whatever you got to do, dude. All right. Aquarius single. Aquarius single. Aquarius single. Yes? Yes. What do we have going on for Aquarius single empowering information to help you move in the direction you want to move? Interesting ending. I bless these cards to match up perfectly to give empowering information to help them understand what they need to do to get the situation where they want it to be. It doesn't really want to shuffle too much. So I think we're going to leave it there because I'm getting like a resistance with that deck. So I'm going to leave it for now. I can shuffle and keep going after if it seems pertinent. Now, <laughs> the situation we're talking with, let's see, I, I, I get the Four of Wands in your past. There's been a good connection here. A good connection. This is, okay, so we're, we're, this is something about the past, though, but like you've known, you've known what a good relationship can be. You have a certain idea about what a good relationship can be. Okay, so you're basing where you are now off of the past about you have an ideal, you're idealistically looking at something like it should be this way, this should work out that way. Like you have an idea about the blueprint, about way, the way it should be. Now, what you're used to things working out copacetically for a good relationship, somebody's coming towards you that doesn't fit that. And I feel like that's why we're talking about the past that way. There's something from the past that was very good. Person coming towards you now, which I always say with the general reads, don't get caught up in the gender, but this is somebody who's very active, very strong, coming towards you very, very active. I don't feel like the way this person communicates with you jives with what you view as a good relationship for you would work out. This person doesn't fit that mold. And this seems to be putting you in a spot where you're feeling kind of stuck because I feel like you're feeling stuck because you're not thinking this is really going to work out.
but I also feel like your your heart is in this already. You're already th- you're already looking at it like you're you're gonna end up with a broken heart. Their thoughts are on the three of swords. Your thoughts. You're afraid this is gonna end up in a broken heart. I don't think you're there yet, but you're thinking that's where it is. That's where it's gonna be. You're worried about that outcome, and you're feeling kind of stuck because this person. Excuse me. This person. You like them. You're feeling it. And you're just like, if I get involved with this, it's going to crash and burn, and I'm going to be in a pile of hurt. It's going to be horrible. Okay, that's where we're starting with. Now, the thing is, this person, this person, they say they say a lot of nice things. Like I feel like the way they communicate to you is good. It's just the way they're overall, how they work. You're thinking this is just, it's like rushing towards a cliff. That's what you're feeling. It may be good now, it's fun now, but it's going to, sooner or later, right over the cliff, sooner or later. Because they they make you feel good. And they seem very, I like the way they kind of come towards you. Like, I feel like there's a positive energy coming towards you. You're just not, it's not jiving with what you expect a good relationship for you to look like. The thing is, while these things are going nice here, and they, I feel like there's a lot of generosity from this person, from this person, like they think of you and they they talk about certain things, but it's their overall. You're not thinking this is gonna work, because I like this energy from them. Because I feel like that's from them. The six of pentacles is usually a generous, giving, you know what I mean, caring energy. It's good. I like it. But you're you're in the six of swords with this death card here. I feel like you're taking a, well, I feel like you're walking away from this person. You're walking away, and you're trying to end this relationship. I have to, but, and I do feel like that's kind of what happens here. And I don't, and I, now I'm saying a relationship, I shouldn't say that with uh, Aquarius singles, because it wasn't a relationship, but like if you were dating them or whatever, however you were seeing them, you're trying to cut that cord. But you're missing them. After you do it, Five of Pentacles, you're missing this person. I do feel like you're missing them. And as we keep going, you have the Ten of oh, the Ten of Wands. You're still missing them. Going forward, you're still missing them. And you're you're just kind of like there's a lot. Of, there's the burden here is because your heart is going towards this person. But you're just like, why do I want to get back on that train that's going to wear off the cliff? Like, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to do this. But my heart is going towards this person, but it's a train that's going to go right off a cliff. Like, like I feel like you're having these these conversations with yourself or these thoughts. Maybe you're talking it out with someone else, but the, the bottom line is you're like, this, this isn't going to work. But my heart wants to be with this person. Like, my feelings keep going towards this person. Seven of Swords in your future. When I'm reading this card for this situation, you're looking at it like, oh, I've kind of already walked away from this, but do I want to go back? Do I want to see, do I want to start this up again? Because my heart wants me to go back to it so bad. My mind is saying, you're going to crash and burn, but my heart is saying, but, but my heart is saying, give it a shot. You don't know that for sure. It's worth to find out. The, the, the feelings are there. It's worth to find out. It's worth it to find out. Is that the truth? So that goes into the Hierophant. You accept the situation in the sense of like, you know what? I, I might get my heart broken, but I have to at least try. I can't just walk away from this because my heart really is pulling me towards this person. If it becomes a rough situation, I, I wanna, I rather l love and lose than to just be with this lose. It's like either love and lose or lose is how you're viewing it. And part of you are saying, you know what, what if it does work out? What if it does? And what happens from here is the Ace of Cups. I feel like this is a great match here. I feel like you're not used to this person. This person's energy, it's just not what you're, it's not what you're used to, but I feel like Especially with, like, most of the time, air and fire go together very well. Unless they're opposites, they go together very well. So I'm thinking the way this person is, you're worried that it's just 
not going to work out, but I'm getting the Ace of Cups. What you like, you look at it this way, like you accept like the good, the bad. I just, I can't, my heart is pulling me back. I have to know. And then you get right involved and the Ace of Cups happens. A very f loving moment. Like this is good. I feel like this person's good. There's just not what you're used to. So I feel like this is going to go a good direction. All right, I think we're good. I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading for me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.